Thank you for tuning in to Race Screws. Here we have another case unboxing video. This is 2016Q, the last case code for 2016. The next batch will be A, and that will have uh, the 2017 uh, assortment. And we'll be starting with 2017 new models. Q, the last code of the year. Now, sometimes there are codes that uh, show up, like uh, X, Y, Z, R, whatever. There's different codes that do show up. But for the basic releases, Q is the last one. When it has those other codes, those codes tend to be like uh, store exclusives. Uh, I can show you, this will be a link to a video that I did to where it, it turned out to be a store exclusive assortment. You can check that out. It's an older video. Sometimes it's nice to check out older videos and see what were cars back then. Maybe you're a newer collector. You get to see something new. Now the... Uh, the basic and the super is a Doom Crusher and Carbonic are the basic and the supers. I don't see either one at a glance, but let's check them out. Is that Doom Crusher? Nope, it's a truck, but it's the Toyota off-road truck. Looking pretty good. And a bright green. I have to get this one to Amanda. She likes that uh, green. Her room's painted green, as a matter of fact. Cloud Cutter in yellow. Kind of similar to the treasure hunt, bad to the blade. Hollinator carryover that was in the previous case assortment. Seems like uh, my light's a little hot, a little bright, but that's okay. Chill Mill in that Pepdol Bismol pink. Here you have the 16 Camaro SS, two samples. No tail lights, but you do have stripes going over the top. No imprints in the front but you do have imprints here on the side. Here we have a couple samples of Skyfire, the helicopter. And here we have another fantasy model, Double Demon. Now, after this case, I believe, I believe this is the last case. We should have gotten all the uh, 2016 releases. There were 250 releases for this year. Next year, that number is going to change. I heard that it's going to go up but it's actually the same number of releases because like this model here, they had uh, two different colors. So what they would normally do, they would give it the same collector number, but you can wind up with two different colors of this car with that collector number. So what I heard, and I don't know if it's true, but uh, they're gonna give a different collector number to each color now. And it's kind of nice when they do recolors, especially for the art car series. You want to get all the letters on top if you want to spell HW Art Cars. Uh, and then it has a number 10 to make the 10th digit. Matter of fact, uh, I'm pretty sure it's in here. They gave a recolor for that too. So if you miss the other color of the R, at least you can get this color of the R. And if you, if you know about all the cars, uh, if you're paying attention through the years, through this year, are there any cars that only got one color? Uh, I'm just curious because there were, I'd say half of them got a recolor. There's Z Rod in chrome gold, Scupa de Fuego, fantastic track car, fun to say too. There you have the Bat, Batmobile. It's kind of in a uh, pewter gray, it's not uh, black this time. Nice striping. Hey, check out gold trim on the green trim on the wheels, green, green trim for the paint as well. Nice, discreet, you know, not overly doing the tempo, just a little something to decorate the model. And the race team, here you have custom 12 Ford Mustang. The uh, race team series, mm, this deco definitely grew on me. The first couple cars that came out with the uh, that type of race team decoration was, mm, took a while to, for me to like it, but now, now I like it. It's definitely growing on me. I like how colorful it is. Here you have Night Dragon, Hot Wheels Fantasy Model, of course. Here you have a couple of samples of Steer Clear. I believe this is, <coughs> excuse me, his second color. His other color was like a satin red. So here you have orange. Why don't they bring him out in brown? He's a steer, right? He should be brown like a steer. Here's a third sample. Is that a tongue? I never even thought about that. Does he have a tongue sticking out? I'll bet you that's what that's what it's supposed to be. Never even noticed. Or if I did, I forgot. Here you have the 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. 
fantastic model. Love it, love it, love it. I like when people put r real rubber tires on them, uh, especially with ones with uh, lots of meat. Looks good. Tour de Fast. This was a new model for 2016. It was in the previous case. Loop Coop returning, and here's Tool again. Part of the uh, Tool in One series where they have different models that do more than just be a car. As you can see, that one's a Tool again. He's got a wrench in the back. It has a little uh, hex nut unscrewer right there. Unscrewer. What kind of a word is that? There's another Tour de Fast. Give you a better look at the graphics this time. Here you have the 10 Camaro SS. This is a police car version. Does it have NYPD? What's it say up there? HWPD. And it's got the uh, lights on top, push bar, and the light bar. Here we got another shark. Sharky, second color away. Hey, check out the, the wheels are clear. You can see through. You can see through the wheels. It's not solid. It's got the X Racer wheels. Never thought about that. X Racer wheels instead of X Racer body. Shark bite. Another uh, model that moves when you roll him. His mouth moves up and down. I don't know if it'll do it in the package. But let's move on. Futurismo. Definitely looking like a track car, eh? It is part of the uh, tracks. It is a track star. And they put it in the HW Race Team Series. I like that. For a fantasy model, looking good. Here you have F Racer with the uh, glow wheels. So you can make the wheels glow in the dark. BMW 2002 and Dune Crusher. Now look how low profile F1 racer. So he's a track star. Works pretty good. Oh yeah, you can put a suggestion or two for track time. Okay, only one or two suggestions, please. And if I if I choose a car and then you wind up being one of the people, you have a chance at a shout out. Okay. Uh, this is pretty. I like how this BMD. Now nah, I definitely recognize when people put a, when Mattel puts a stripe like this on a BMW. There's definitely some history to. BMW having that kind of a stripe. Doom Crusher, he's actually a track star too. Track star too. And this is one of the cars if you like to collect treasure hunts. Basic treasure hunts. This is one of the ones you're going to want to look for because there's the Circle Flame logo right in the center of the free screen. So it's a basic treasure hunt. And behind the car, you can see it's hard to see right there. Circle Flame logo right there. And while we're looking, the production code for this case J26. These cars were produced the 26th week of 2016. And they're just now arriving in the U.S. Now, these are international cases. So they're arriving at the end of August, Amazon. As to when the USA case uh, English cards show up in the USA, I don't know. Usually a few weeks behind, sometimes longer. Night Shifter in red, looking pretty good. Teed off too. Uh, I want my original teed off back. This is just a little too much. Hey, but if you like it, you like it. It's up to you. You can put a little golf ball right there when you play your little putt putt. And see, you can use them as a little uh, tee for your putt putt if you like. Just remember, keep uh, keep your club uh, below your knees, below your waist. Please, please don't swing and hit people. Rev rod in green. Check out the. Green wheels, green canopy, and shiny gold body. Looks pretty good. Definitely eye-catching. Definitely want you to see him when he's in a pile of cars. Can't miss him. Uh, here is Roadster. This is just a regular issue. And he's been a tr super treasure hunt before, but this is not. Uh, he's not a super treasure hunt in this case. Let's see. Did they fix it? Yeah, they did fix it. Check it out. Finally, uh, he lost his dual axle. He used to have dual rear axles and then in the card art they forgot to change the card art and you can see two rear axles in the back and then the car had a single so now they have updated the card and you have it with the uh shorter the shorter fast gas and with a, a single axle in the back and you have a 15 dodge charger srt in white good samples for rit die there's another shark buddy and this is, the, this is one of the ones for HWR cars. Pedal driver, and I did a video talking about how can they make this part of the HW Ride-On series. Well, they cut the steering wheel in half. So now you can get your figures, and he can f your figure can sit underneath. He can fit underneath the wheel now. There's another shark bite. 
running out of room. I didn't start. I didn't start stacking properly. 07 Ford Mustang, HWR cars. This is one that had two colors. It was red, and so when you get all your cars, it'll say HWR cars, 16, and that's your 10 cars for this series. If you'd like to collect all 10 models, the other one was red. If you missed it, well, now you can get your last one in silver. If you'd like, just has a artwork or printing on the top, on the sides. Nothing in the front or the back, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a, uh, not a dot matrix. I, I guess, yeah, it looked like dot matrix before, but this time it kind of makes it look like a webbing. I don't, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's amazing that they can get that kind of a graphic on the side of a little, a little three inch toy car. Here you have Scorpedo. Three samples of Scorpedo in silver. Are oh, you liking the uh, the colorful wheels? They're kind of doing that with the Monster Jam models too. They have color wheels, just regular releases. They're not chases or anything. And here's several art cars. So this one was definitely a recolor. It was in another color. I don't remember off the top of my head. T for muscle tone, two samples for muscle tone. And this wheel looks like it's a little crooked, doesn't it? Looks like a little crooked. If I choose it for track time, uh, I have to remember to get that one. And you know what? On that note, oh, by the way, here's a 65 Chevy Impala. Sometimes, you know, I do track time and then I get a bad roller. And some people might say, well, why don't you go get the other one? Well, guess what? It, track time is putting models on the track to see how they perform. And if Mattel puts defective cars in the package, you know what? That should be part of the video. It's part of it's a review of how well the cars work on the track. And if, and if they put a defective car in the blister, guess, and it winds up on the track, that's the way it goes. The Bat, another sample. Uh, one of my least, okay, my very least favorite Batmobile, uh, Bat model, I should say. Ooh, this one's black, black, black. Hmm. Seems like it's been a while since we had a car that's black. 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport in a glossy black. Nice decos, though. So we got a basic treasure of this case. Doesn't look like we're likely to get a super. That's okay. Turbot. This one in a satin red color. The satin blue was very nice too. You can open up the hood. I don't remember if it shows on the back or not. Yeah, see, look, it's got an opening hood. A little teeny tiny opening hood. But it's got something. And even though I'm not a motorcycle, you know, big fan, I collect every, all, every casting. This uh, Honda Monkey Z50 is uh, definitely, I enjoyed picking them up. Pretty cool model. Red, now you got yellow. And that'll be it for this year, since this is the last color for the, that's a nice color. Here you have, uh, th that's the last color away for the year of this. And then if it winds up getting recolored again in the future, um, it probably have, I don't know if they change that tempo. I don't know if Honda wants that, uh, is that a flying eagle? I don't know if they have an actual name for that Honda logo. But anyways, there's another pedal door pedal driver. When you see the color on this crate racer, it's a pretty nice color. I don't know if any other models have had this color. Very, very nice color. Looks good with the orange. Very nice color. Orange base. And this is a this is one when you roll it, it makes the, the engine rocks back and forth. It's one of the action vehicles. Here we have Ford Shelby Concept. Ford Shelby Cobra Concept. Nice model. Realistic. But it's a concept, so is it really realistic? Did they ever make it like that? I don't know. It is licensed, though. Perfect speed. This is a 2016 new model. First time it's ever appeared in the assortment. Got yourself a little cat. And finally, finally you have a counter part to the Ratmobile. So maybe you get this one and you have a Ratmobile. You can have your cat chasing your rat. What do we have left in here? Ooh, those are some nice cars right there. Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And then directly below that we have the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Two different versions in the same case. You got a uh, Porsche and a Porsche. Very cool. Got your uh, headlights. Those are part of the plastic windshield that come down through the headlights. This is one piece. Got a tampo in the rear. 
or I think it says this GT3. Kind of hard to say. Might show up in editing though. It's a Chevy Silverado. Uh, guess what? Part of the R car series? Maybe. See. See you later. Oh, 2016 new model. 69 Corvette Racer. Check that out. You got yourself a little roll cage. Convertible Corvette Racer. 69 Corvette Racer. Did they put that name on the base? 69 Corvette Racer. Again, J26 production code. This time it's uh, melted, stamped into the plastic rather than printed. 2016 new model. Red, white, and just a little off uh, blue for my taste. But nice to see another new model in the assortment. Another Hollinator. And this is definitely a nice uh, car from the last mix. Carrying over into this mix. You have the Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 <gasps> Super Trofeo. And thanks for letting me know that stands for a trophy. So a little bit underwhelming case maybe, but still some nice stuff for us to hunt for, right? Still some nice cars in the mix. 96 Nissan 180SX Type X. And if you're searching for treasure hunts, don't forget, look for that uh, dune. I forgot that you've seen it. And there was a no carbonic. Uh, word, word is carbonic's the super. So if you find a carbonic with rubber tires, special paint, that's your super. I don't know if it has TH on that package or not. You'll have to uh, you'll have to find out later. Anyways, thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.